what are you hearing from people as the most attractive job um, that um, that will be open? And it can include already that something that is. What are you hearing right now? This is this is a fascinating thing here, Rich, because um, you know you've obviously got three jobs open right now between the Chargers uh, and the Raiders in Carolina that's been open. Each of those, I think, has both their positives and negatives. You know, I think that a lot of people believe externally the Chargers job is the best one out there. But just in in talking to people realistically about that team, where they are and the roster, there's going to be some hard decisions that the next regime is going to have to make. I mean, do you trade one of those wide receivers? Austin Eckler is probably leaving in free agency. You've got a lot of older, expensive players on defense. Even a guy like Joey Bosa, who's making a lot of money, hasn't played a lot in two years because of injuries. Do you potentially uh, look to trade him? And those are all broader conversations that, you know, in the past, the Chargers have not liked to do that in terms of moving on from some of their marquee, their star players, so to speak. Um, But a new GM coming in is going to say, listen, if we're going to kind of remake this thing, this is the opportunity to potentially uh, move on from some of those big salaries, clear cap space, clear cash moving forward and rebuild this thing. Um, You don't want to say entirely from the ground up because you got a quarterback in Justin Herbert. But in other words, this is not a plug and play. The next coach comes in. Let's go in the Super Bowl right now. You could find somebody if that's what you want to hear to tell you that. But realistically, if you're looking at this roster right now, there's certainly a good case to be made that you um, need to start over a little bit in Las Vegas with the Raiders. You know, that's obviously a unique opportunity, I believe. And based on conversations, I think that that job is better than what people externally tend to think. Mark Davis is a unique guy, but all he really wants to do is win. He wants to figure that out and get the right people in place. He's taken a couple of big swings with John Gruden and Josh McDaniels for completely different reasons. Neither of those worked out. You're going to have to figure out the quarterback position. You got Jimmy Garoppolo, who's still guaranteed money into 2024, so you have to do something there. Is Aiden O'Connell the guy? You know, what do you do with Devontae Adams? Again, you can make the case that right now, if you can still get substantial capital, maybe a first round pick for Devontae Adams, where you are programmatically, you know, maybe you, you should move on. Carolina, you got to be buying in on Bryce Young, and you got to be buying in on David Tepper. And I think that's another one that's a better job than people externally might think if you're a believer in the starting quarterback. There's obviously other jobs that potentially could open here. Washington is one that's been in focus. I would say this, Rich, one of the really interesting things is that after 20 plus years of everybody making jokes about why would anyone go to Washington, you're gonna get fired, you gotta deal with the owner. All of a sudden people are really intrigued by Washington. They've got a lot of draft capital because they trade away those pass rushers before the deadline. They've got enough flexibility financially. You got a guy in Sam Howell, a quarterback who Maybe you can build with him, but you're also not over leveraged into that position. He was a fifth round pick a couple of years ago. You're not spending any money at the position. So you could draft one and keep Howell for the short term. And you've got Josh Harris there who is going to try to build this thing the right way. So in the end, Rich, you know, we'll see what jobs end up opening up, but I would not be surprised at all if Washington is one of, if not the most attractive jobs in the cycle. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.